It's been well established that the universe is infinitely expanding, but I'd argue expanding is the wrong word. You see, I think the universe is running away as far as possible from one man, Vasily Komatsky, the god hand, the slap that could overthrow empires. Vasily Komatsky is the hardest slapping organism in the entire universe, I'd wager. We don't have like a fucking tournament of power Dragon Ball Z style that we can run to test for sure. But I'm just going off of pure instinct saying that I don't think anyone has the pure carnage in the palm of their hands like Vasily does. It's incredible. And I'm happy to say in the newest slapping tournament, Vasily Komatsky makes a triumphant return to the battlefield defending his title as the world's premier slap god. Now again, the whole video is fucking great. But I'm only going to be showing you certain slapping clips from it. And I recommend you check out the full video if you're interested in seeing more. And with that being said, let's get right into round one where Vasily comes in raw and no rubber. Yeah. <coughs> Whoa! <laughs> you bought <laughs> 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 A real David vs. Goliath matchup if David was really into Marilyn Manson, tattoos, and body modifications. Over a hundred kilogram difference between the two of them, and this man still has the nutsack to step into that octagon? Nothing but respect for this young man. Absolutely inspiring to get in there, looking certain death in the fucking face and willing to throw hands with him. It's amazing to me. They say there's nine circles in hell. I'd argue there's 10, the 10th circle being repeatedly slapped by Vasily Komatsky's hand. A glancing blow, the beard just brushed it right off. He didn't even hit Vasily Komatsky's skin, I imagine. It couldn't even get through his fucking force field of hair. <laughs> I was half expecting a priest to come out to read him a final sermon as he was leaving this corporeal dimension. I thought that doctor was coming on the scene just to pronounce him dead on the spot. But he took it like a champ. He wasn't even knocked out. Obviously, it was a one-slap KO victory for Vasily. It didn't go past this round, but I'm impressed with the iron jaw on that kid right there. That young man really bit down on it. A normal slap like that on an ordinary man would be enough to ruin his entire legacy. I thought it was gonna look like something out of The Walking Dead where he fucking slaps his jaw out of his mouth and it ends up by his ear or something, but he took it real well, and another great showing for Vasily, showing you why he is the fucking eternal champ. Round two, we have Papa squaring off. They're bringing out all the superstars for this stone face event, and he's going up against Jason Statham as a zombie. <laughs> Not the best slap I've ever seen. Papa looks almost insulted that his face even got slapped by something that trivial. It seems like he felt it was beneath him, like, man, I signed up to get slapped like this. It's like a level one in an MMORPG going up against the final raid boss, level 100. As you probably guessed, the round ends right there. Papa wins. That's back-to-back -back first round KOs, which you would expect from the champions Papa and Vasily, the superstars. I love Papa's windup. He really cranks that shit way back, Looney Tunes style, and delivers a real crushing blow. That's a kind of slap that could change the weather outside. Come on. Now we were introduced to this character in the last slapping episode. I genuinely think he's one of the most intimidating looking men on the planet, and this only further proves it. His opponent cranks it way back and gives a big slap, even following through like a fucking three-point basketball shot, and he still barely moves. Now the round actually ends after that slap, despite it looking like he took it pretty well. They, he actually used a forbidden technique that you're not allowed to use in this Olympic game. He turned his head. You can't do that, that's illegal. And then when they asked him to you know, keep going, he said no, because it's his instinct. And I get that, it's obviously the instinct to try and dodge a fucking furious slap coming your way at Mach 5. But you can't do that in this Thunderdome. So, it's another one round KO. Ухо 24 года. Вес 135, дед, да. Просто представь, что током ударило. О, удар такой. Нормально. 
<laughs> now, when I first saw Ilyu, Ilyu, when I first saw Ilyu, I don't know how to say his fucking name. When I first saw this man step into the ring, I thought it was a NASCAR pit crew member that was deciding to be a little adventurous, and I thought it would be over immediately. But I couldn't have been more wrong. This guy has maxed out his facial defense stat. Yeah, his offense isn't that great. He's going for like Austin Power judo chops on his neck, which does work because he says it made him very dizzy because it gets him in his nerves around his jaw and his neck. It's just not, it's not a slap, so it doesn't really work. Uh, it's unfortunate because his defense is so good, he just needed to put a little more points into his one handed offensive traits. <laughs> They stop the match because he complains about his cheek and wants to see what it looks like, so they take a picture and show him, and he's horrified of the bloody pulp his cheek is becoming. There is a clear bruise outline of this man's fingers across his cheek. It's gonna look like a fucking tattoo of this man's hand on his cheek, which he doesn't want, so he calls it right then and there, and that's the end of that match. But he went longer with this guy than anyone else we've ever seen. He put up a great fight and his defense was really well done. It's just a shame that he couldn't get the offense working for him. Yeah, this guy, his name is Vlad and he's a fucking monster. He's like seven feet tall, packing straight fire in his slaps. But unfortunately, his accuracy is his undoing. He slaps his neck instead of his cheek, which is a foul each time. Yeah, unfortunately, Vlad just can't control his power. He's got like a rail gun of slaps, but the targeting system's malfunctioned. He just keeps fucking slapping the Adam's apple off of his opponent, which is two fouls. His opponent says, nah, that's enough. Two fouls. You're done. So he just takes it, walks away with the win. Not that he didn't earn it. His opponent fired back with some straight meat on Vlad's cheek, but it's just a shame that Vlad couldn't aim his slaps uh, appropriately. I would have liked to see this go more rounds. Whoa! Whoa! This guy is fucking scary. He looks like he's here to murder people with his slaps. And he fucking does too. He's making his debut. This is the first time we've seen this competitor. And he comes out and makes a statement. Perhaps even rookie of the year. Check this shit out. Yeah. Knocks his fucking lights out. For a brief moment, that man's soul left his body. He just gave him an exorcism through slaps. Fucking slapped the memories out of him. Brutal. I believe his name is Oner. Oner? I, I don't really know how to say it. But my god, you, you know how to- you could feel his presence. If he entered a room, there'd be something unholy in the air with his slaps, those hands of his entering. It's fucking- Crazy that a rookie came out here and delivered that kind of performance. He's one of the security men, just like the other like giant guy that I think is super intimidating and haunts me in my dreams. He's another one of the security guys, so I have to wonder where the fuck they're recruiting them from. These people, these security guards, are monsters. They were born for slapping, and I love that they're bringing them into the mix. Now, I'm really excited because the way they hyped it up and if the captions are accurate, I believe Vasily will be going up against Owner in the next one, which will be just an incredible clash of the titans, but either way, a fantastic slapping tournament yet again. This was the Stone Faces slapping contest, and it was fucking great. That's it. See ya.